All right, man, I'm, let me tell you what. Uh, ben Rothwell destroys Mad Mitrione. He's won his last three fights. Uh, he beats Brennan Schaub, and he beats Alistair Overeem, and he beats Matt Mitrion. Okay, I mean it's it's pretty incredible, really. Um, if you had told me two years ago, we're looking at up up and coming heavyweights. What's going on in the heavyweight division? Um, you know, guys like Travis Brown. Just this guy was on a tear, and now he's not. I mean, he's still in the mix, but. We're looking at guys that we didn't think we would be looking at at all. <laughs> looking at Andre Arlovsky, you know, for maybe could possibly be a UFC champion. Ben Rothwell. Um, where we're at in this video right now is we got Verdum is getting ready to face Cain Velasquez. Uh, I gave my thoughts on that. It's it's kind of a strange one, but hey, if Cain Velasquez loses and Verdum is champion. And we've got Ben Rothwell, you know, coming up, and Andre Arlovsky coming up. I mean, this this could get really exciting here. And uh, you know, I don't know. I don't. They're talking about maybe Ben Rothwell's calling out Andre Arlovsky. I don't really think these two guys should fight. I don't. You know, I don't know. I just I don't see it. I'd rather see him. Uh, the UFC is kind of weird. They're, they're just kind of strange. I, they like. You watch, like if Verdun beats Cain Velasquez, there's probably going to be a rematch. It's like, just forget the rematch stuff, man. Let's just get on with it. Let's, you know what I mean? Um, I mean, if you're going to do that, then then just have two fights in a row or something. Have one one fight for two rounds, who wins, and then let's have the rematch the same night. <laughs> right? You know, make it a two-round fight. If Cain Velasquez wins... You know, he's the champ, but be done with it. If he loses, give him a rematch in 30 minutes. You know, another two-round fight. Something like that. Like, uh, not Verdum wins, and then he just goes and sits around for a year, then fights Cain Velasquez again. And, of course, he's going to lose, because you're not going to beat Cain Velasquez twice. I mean, you might if he's just completely done with his career. But, um, so it's kind of silly. It's kind of silly. But, uh, guys, Ben Rothwell is on a tear, and I was just kind of going over his record. Um, he's always been one of my favorite heavyweights, but, uh, you know, anybody that's a really notable name throughout his career, he, um, that's maybe at the, at the top of, of the heavyweight division, you know, he's lost to. He lost to Tim Sylvia back in the day, and back then Tim Sylvia was destroying everybody. And uh, I know it's hard to imagine maybe that people are new to MMA, but it's true. I mean, he was just beat, beating everybody. And uh, he beat uh, Ben Rothwell. Now, that being said, Ben Rothwell knows how to win. This guy's won a lot of fights. At one point, he strung a whole bunch of wins. And he's got a lot of wins in the first minute. Like, guys couldn't even last a minute with Ben Rothwell. So I don't know really what happened, and at some point um, in more recent years, he was like win a fight, lose a fight, win a fight, lose a fight. So uh, he actually lost Arlovsky back in the day, if you guys don't know that. Um, but he's got a, a pretty impressive um, resume. When you look at, I mean, he's got 35 wins, 9 losses is where he's at right now. And uh, some of those are decisions. I, I look at decisions when I look at a fighter's record. I look at that as more of a draw. I don't really look at that as a loss. He's got Ben Rothwell's got four losses by uh, TKO or KO, and he's only got two losses he's, by submission. He's only lost twice by submission out of what 40, 44 fights. So, that's 44 fights he's only been submitted twice. And he's only been TKO'd four times out of 44 fights. That's a pretty good record. You know, that being said, should he fight Cain Velasquez? If Velasquez beats Verdum, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, I would almost rather just see him... Uh, you know, I know that these guys all want... That just goes to show, man, what the mentality of 
you know, Ben Ronto, the mentality of Andrei Arlovsky, these guys want to fight Cain Velasquez. It's not just because they want to go in there and get paid. I mean, it's a good payday, but they believe that they can beat Cain. I mean, our, Andrei Arlovsky believes he can beat Cain Velasquez. Not too many other people really believe that. <laughs> um, you know, but we'll see. They might even have to fight Cain. Verdun might beat Cain. Um, so it's going to be really exciting. It's a really exciting thing. I, you know, I would have thought that maybe Josh Barnett, people like this, uh, would have been more in the mix. But hey, they're not. And we're seeing uh, just uh, these guys just rising up out of nowhere. And it's really cool because I'm a big fan of Andre Arlovsky. I'm a big fan of Ben Rothwell. How can you not like these guys? I mean, I've just watched these guys for so long. And... Uh, you know, uh, it's it's pretty cool, but man, Ben Rothwell, three fights in a row, and guys, it's against pretty tough opponents, man. Brendan Schaub, you say, oh, Brendan Schaub, but then he beats Alistair Overeem, and then he comes here, and Matt Mitchell, man, that's, that's, that, that's, that's a tough opponent, guys. I mean, it really is. Uh, and, uh, you know, and not only is he beating him, he's looked, he just looked really good. He's looked, he's looked great, and he's got heavy hands. Um, ben Rothwell could knock out Cain Velasquez if he catches him. You know, could, could Arlovsky beat Cain? I don't really see that, but I could see I could see our, I could see Ben Rothwell catching him. Even just boom, a hard punch to where he, you know he's going to be dazed. He could maybe go and get the finish. Um, I mean, he's, he's Ben Rothwell ain't no joke, and now. He's letting everybody realize, look, you better start taking me serious. And uh, I think as of this point, people are. He's been the underdog. Um, would it be an underdog against Andre Arlovsky? I don't think so. I think I would put uh, ben, Roth ben Rothwell as the favorite in that fight. But anyway, guys, things are starting to get pretty exciting in the heavyweight division uh, in the UFC. And I will see you guys later.